Former Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu appears to be headed to victory in Israel's fifth national election in four years. Over 80% of the ballots are now counted. His group of right-wing religious parties appears close to regaining power. Netanyahu today telling supporters, quote, we are on the brink of a very big victory. Early results seem to be showing that voters gave Netanyahu and his what looks like a stable majority in the country's parliament. It could be one of Israel's most right-wing governments, bolstered by a strong showing from the ultra-nationalist Religious Zionism Party. Elections officials worked through the night, tallying votes and final results are still being tabulated. That brings us to Iris Mackler, who joins us now live this morning from Jerusalem. Iris, good morning. Thanks for joining us. What can you tell us about where things stand right now? Right now, the, um, we are looking at the end of the count from the polling booths. Tomorrow, they're going to count up all the extra ones, soldiers in the field, postal votes, etc. So I think a final count by tomorrow. But what we're seeing is quite a big, big victory for the right wing, quite a failure of the left wing. And I think it's partly because the centre left was not unified. They ran um, a disunified ticket and what that meant is that some of those parties are actually not going to get a seat in Israel's parliament, the Knesset. It's proportional representation. They won't get the right amount of votes. So that's potentially eight votes wasted. Not only are they lost to the centre-left, but some of them are redistributed to the right wing. So the right wing wins twice and I think that's part of the reason we're seeing such a good showing for the right wing and such a poor showing for the centre-left. Iris, let's talk about this strong right-wing coalition. If they are uh, declared the victors, what would we expect its priorities to be? Benjamin Netanyahu says he wants a full-scale right wing. What would that be? It would be, first of all, all the sectarian parties already making their demands. So ultra-Orthodox parties, for example, asking, demanding that their pupils should not be required to learn maths and English and other core subjects, only religious studies for them. Then we're seeing on the Palestinian issue that there are a number of voices being raised, especially from the far right <clears throat> religious alliance with Itamar Ben-Gvir from the Jewish Power Party. They want to annex the West Bank. Another thing they promised during the election campaign, <clears throat> I do apologise, another thing they promised was that they would look um, at how to change Israel's laws so they removed fraud and breach of trust from the statute books. That sounds arcane, but the point of it is to stop the corruption trial of Benjamin Netanyahu. So all these things all together, all these controversial things, not even clear if they're legal, all those things are part of what Israel has to look forward to now. Iris, thanks for this. Iris Mackler reporting from Jerusalem this morning.